Hello! Today I would like to have a look at this mini DC to DC uh, step down adjustable module. I bought a couple of them on eBay as a part of my electric vehicle uh, charger project where I needed to produce a 5 volt rail from a 12 volt rail. I ended up using classic 7805 because the current consumption was not very high and uh, that 7805 was sufficient to handle that. As I mentioned in my video about the charger project, I saw these um, switching regulators on DigiKey and these are pin compatible with 78 uh, series of linear regulators and uh, the output voltage is fixed and they go in different uh, flavors with different output voltage and the cost is about five dollars fifty or something like that also one of the viewers suggested uh, this module from Tindy uh, which is also switching regulator this one is 5 volt 1 amp and it's pin compatible with 7805 and very similar in size and uh, the cost of this guy is 595 so I found these modules on eBay directly from Hong Kong for 99 cents delivered and I am quite amazed how do they manage to be profitable at this price Unfortunately, the documentation is not very extensive, just a few basic facts that uh, the input voltage should be uh, from 475 to 23 volts, the output can be adjusted from 1 volt to 17, and obviously because it's stepped down, the output should be lower than the input and the current handling is up to 1.8 amps with 3 amp uh, spikes and they promise that ripple is 30 millivolts with no load the reason i considered these modules for my charger project was that i didn't want too much heat in a completely sealed enclosure because the regulator should drop 7 volts with a significant current it can get hot and I didn't want that but uh, I ended up uh, using 7805 still because as I found the power dissipation was around half a watt which was acceptable Another consideration, of course, is noise, which was not important for my application, but sometimes can be very important, in particular if we are dealing with uh, audio uh, or uh, with precision measurement or something like that. In which case, a linear regulator is much better. So, let's hook it up to my test gear and give it a try. There you go. The input is connected to the Agilent Precision power supply and the output to the electronic load. The input is set to 12 volts and as you can see it consumes about 14 milliamps when there is no load. And I already adjusted the output uh, to 5 volts so we have the same use case I needed for my uh, electric vehicle charger project 12 volts in 5 volts out and let's give it a try let's say at 100 milliamps first all right 200 3 4 5 let's have a look at the efficiency at this point so uh, the output is two and a half watts 
and uh, to supply that consumption is 12 volts 0.23 amps we need to multiply that and that's gonna be uh, 12 times 0.23 that's 276 watts and let's divide two and a half by this uh, 276 and this gives us 90 percent efficiency at this level so let's go higher to one amp no problems at all let's see what the efficiency is at this level five, five watts out and the input is 12 times 0.46 which is 552 5 divided by 552 is again 90 percent all right let's go all the way to 1.8 so the output voltage is almost exactly 5 volts and let's see um, what the efficiency is 12 times 0 0.85 or 86 10.32 watts in so let's divide 8.9 by this 10.32 and the efficiency is 86 percent at this point it was running for a few minutes like this at 1.8 amps and let's measure the temperature all right i see the maximum is 89 degrees c and the ambient is 26 so it's getting really hot and I'm not sure it's acceptable for long periods of time I turned down the load to 1 amp and it was running like this for about 5 minutes and let's measure now now I see about 50 degrees which is not too bad and here I'm trying to measure the output ripple uh, for that we don't want any noise from power supply or electronic load so I'm using the 12 volt battery as the source and uh, 8 ohm 50 watt power resistor as the load and uh, the module is still uh, producing 5 volts uh, which means the load must be around 625 milliamps let's have a look at the scope and here we are look at this horrible switching noise and it doesn't seem to come from the environment here I disconnect the battery no problems at all and here I connect the battery again and we see these terrible spikes and the scale now is 200 millivolts per division uh, I set up that RMS measurement thing here on the screen and it's jumping from 20 something millivolts to 40 something but we definitely see spikes of hundreds of millivolts and this uh, i suppose is because um, an output smoothing capacitor is tiny on that module 
So, we definitely need more filtering on the output if we care about the noise. Or if we really, really care about the noise, we should uh, use the linear regulator. As I mentioned, they should be way better in this respect. Here I added 15 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Uh, let's have a look now. It looks a bit better, those spikes look a bit lower and the RMS measurement is jumping from minimum of 7 or 8 or something to maximum of 26 I believe I've seen uh, 28 so it looks a bit better but still a lot of noise and here I added 10 micro Henry inductor before the load and the capacitor let's have a look now and it looks better still but now we are starting to defeat the purpose I believe if we need to add a lot of big capacitors and inductors so what's the point of having such a tiny module in the first place so I think it's a nice little module but be careful about this noise it's typical for switching regulators to have noise like this and if low noise is very important for your application then you are much better off with linear regulators thanks for watching bye